going to kick off our live coverage tonight with 44 News reporter Valerie Lyons. She's live tonight with a look at the impact here in the tri state. And, Valerie, what's the main reason for the pause of this Johnson and Johnson vaccine? Hey there, Brian. Well, it's these reports of blood clots, and though concerning, they're extremely rare. Only six known cases with nearly 7 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine administered in the U.S. so far. That's fewer than one in a million. The FDA and CDC's call to press pause on J&J &J shots following reports of six people developing a rare yet severe type of blood clot from the vaccine. We're recommending this pause while we work together to fully understand these events and also so we can get information out to health care providers and vaccine recipients. All six cases occurred among women between 18 and 48 and symptoms occurred 6 to 13 days after vaccination. Now the entire tri-state heeding that recommendation. We were told that uh, we should expect this pause to be days to possibly a week, but that it is likely not to be longer than that. While no one will be getting it for the time being, 6.8 million Americans have already received the J&J &J shot. And for some who are already vaccinated, a handful of these cases isn't a cause for alarm. I mean, it's six people out of uh, six million. Um, if you look at that introspectively toward anything from birth control to a lot of other medications, that's it's a drop in the bucket. But for others who may be concerned right now, federal health officials are stressing there's no need to panic. For people who got the vaccine more than a month ago, the risk to them is very low at this time. For people who recently got the vaccine within the last couple weeks, they should be aware to look for any symptoms. Health experts say they know this development could increase vaccine hesitancy, but both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are still viable and they urge everyone to keep their appointments if they have them. And we are not seeing these clotting events with low platelet counts with the other two vaccines. And the CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices will meet tomorrow to review data on these cases and consider next steps. Reporting live in Evansville, Valerie Lyons, 44 News.